Today we will present you this less to peer service. This verification of learning analytics data service enables consensus management and verification of learning analytics data using less to peers blockchain. Learning analytics data can be data gathered like from a Moodle course. To interact with the bot, we can use a chatbot, like in this case, Rocket is used. So to begin the interaction, we can begin with greeting the bot with, for example, hi. Then we wait for the response. And the bot asks us if we want to have more information about the service. We confirm this. Here, we have more information about the service, what it is actually doing. And in the end, it is asking us if we want to open the data management options. This we also confirm. Now we have some options about the data management. The first one is to give our consent to the data management. The second one is to show our actual consent. And the third one is to withdraw our given consent. Here we choose the first option. Now we have the possibility to choose which Moodle data should actually be used by the service, so which one should be verified. Here we will choose the third one, so that all Moodle data should be verified. This option is saving now, and this uh, usually takes a bit as it is using the blockchain. So now we got the confirmation that our consent was saved, and we got the option to see which data is saved about us. Here we got the data and we see that some data is already saved about me because I used this service in the past. We see that seven data entries have been verified by the service and these are the most recent ones on the top. So to see the service in action, we can, for example, use this Moodle course where we are doing this quiz we can uh, enter it uh, so we did this quiz and now it usually takes some time until the service gathers the information and we will wait a couple of minutes to see new data about us so here we see that we have actually four new entries before we had seven now we have eleven which are verified by the service. And when we scroll up, we eventually see this data, which is verified by the service. And here it is the quest 2, which has been done previously by us, which has been verified. This can be also checked by the date and the time this has been done. So now that we have given the consent that the Moodle data can be used to be verified, we can also withdraw our consent of that. For that, we can open the data management options again. And choose the third option to withdraw our consent. This again takes some time until it is processed. So now, as we have withdrawn our consent, if we would like to try again the quiz, give some other options here, final ones. After we have submitted this quiz, we can check again after a couple of minutes after the service has processed our Moodle data if some new entries have actually been verified or not. And in this case, and in this case now, it should not be verified as we have withdrawn our consent. So after a couple of minutes, we can again check the data. Now we also see that after we have withdrawn our consent, that no new data is gathered about us from the Moodle course. We still have 96 data sets which are collected and only 11 of them our blockchain verified. Thank you for your time and you can check out this service on GitHub which is publicly available.